life, love, and pop pop culture. Hello guys, my name is Danielle Delgado and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. Today I'm taking you on the blue carpet of Show Dogs. Take a look. Good to see you again. I ran into you at the open board premiere. He's very popular, guys. Every girl in the room was drawn to you. I, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't remember that. You're making I me didn't. sound good. I was standing thing. right next to him and literally could not say hi to him because everyone was attacking him. So that must feel pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm probably blushing now. You've you've embarrassed me a little bit, but thank you. So I remember I asked you, what was the most romantic thing that you've done? And I got the results. Everyone seemed to think that that was pretty romantic. Oh, really? Oh, good. Everybody except for the girl. Yeah. What was wrong with that girl? Except for the girl that I was that I was making the romantic gesture for thought it was really romantic. You know what, Ryan? It's her loss. <laughs> oh, yeah. Poetic justice, I guess. Or irony, dramatic irony, something Ew, like that. Don't call him fat. Don't call him fat. Call him fluffy, babe. Don't call him fat. Call him fluffy. That's right, Gabriel Iglesias, the uh, alternative Iglesias. I'm the one you'll find in an elevator or at uh, In and Out. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being at an In and Out. Nothing wrong with being at an In and Out. Okay, so tell me about this role in this film. Do you play a dog? Tell me about your character. Yes, I play a dog, not this one. This dog right here, she's up for adoption here at the Show Dogs premiere. I play a dog named Mr. Sprinkles, who's basically me a lot more amped up. It's me after like four cold brews at Starbucks. I mean, this dog is super excited. His name is Mr. Sprinkles, so you got to sell Mr. Sprinkles. See, when, when you said cold brew, I was thinking something else. I have two chihuahuas uh, at home myself. That's why they, they, you know, they handed me this one. And I would totally take her home, but I got two dogs at home that would not... Oh my God, who is this? Adora? This is my son. Say hi. He gets shy around pretty ladies. <laughs> oh, she has a baby on her hips and she still looks flawless. Oh no, I'm a, I'm shiny, but I'm I don't know. I'm just I'm I'm trying to pull off the natural glow. It's work, It's working. It's working. It happens. How excited are you to take this little one to see this movie? So excited. Uh, I'm an actual like Will Arnett fan. I'm not afraid to say that I'm a fan of other actors and actresses. Just because I'm an actor myself, uh, I admire his work. I think he's hilarious. I've never gotten to meet him, so maybe today we'll meet him. And it's really cool that he's doing a movie with, that I can take the whole family to and not be worried about whether or not it's appropriate. Because most of the comedy that I'm involved with are not that appropriate. <laughs> so I admire that he's been able to get one, Will Arnett. So amazing. Congratulations to him and obviously Fluffy. Ooh, Fluffy! <laughs> and I worked with Stanley Tucci before as well. And so oh, these fabulous actors in this movie, it has to be really good. That's a movie about show dogs. Hello, who doesn't love show dogs? Thank you guys for joining me on the blue carpet of show dogs. Don't forget to tune in next time, guys, as we discuss more life, love, and pop culture. Life, love, and pop pop culture. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.